Hi, this is Jody Becker, and today I'd like to show you how to create a simple poster using Scribus. So we're going to create a new document. It'll be single page, and we'll just click on OK. The first big tip I have when working with Scribus is to open up your properties box. You can do this by clicking on Windows, going down to Properties, and then simply move this box to the side of your document. This will make everything much easier to work with. I also like to work with a grid, so we'll go to View, and we'll show grid. There it is. This helps me align everything nicely on the page. So let's go ahead and create our header. I'm going to insert a text frame. I'll simply stretch that across the screen here. And then we'll go ahead and insert our text. So let's right click, edit text, and I already have the text I want to use saved in a Word document. I will select what I want to use, simply copy it, go back and describe us, and then paste it. When you work with text, you really want to use the story editor, which when you right click edit text, it should open automatically. So there's our header text, we'll click on the green check mark, and there it is. So let's adjust this so it looks a little bit more like a header. We'll go over here to our properties box, click on text and simply increase the font size until it stretches across the screen. That looks pretty good. Next, we're going to insert a colored box to really make the header pop. So we'll insert a shape. I'll make this approximately the size of my text box. And with that shape selected, we'll go over to Properties again, down to Colors, and let's pick a nice cyan blue. It looks like it's covered up our text. Well, let's right click move down to level, and then we'll just lower this to the bottom. There we go. Click again to select your text box, and simply move your heading to where you want it to be. That looks pretty good. Now, we're going to create two columns for our main body text. We click on Insert Text Frame, stretch these approximately halfway across the screen, There we are, and now we want to link them so that the text flows between these two boxes. So we'll click on the first one, go up here, and link our text frames together. Click that tool, and then click on the second column. A little black arrow pops up momentarily, and that will let you know that the text frames were linked. So let's go get our text. Right click, edit text, I'm going to go back down to my Word document, Select the text that I want to use, copy it, back into Scribus, and simply paste that into Story Editor. Click on the green check, and there it is. So let's pull our columns down towards the bottom of the page. That way we can see everything that we're working with here. And then we will insert some images. So we'll go up here to the insert image frame and we'll simply create a box. Then we right click on that box and we go to get image. I already have some cute pictures of kittens saved. I'll select those and click on OK. It looks like the image is too big to fit inside the box. We can fix that. Let's right click and go up to adjust image to frame. There we have it. We have a picture of kittens. Now we're going to wrap the text around the image. We'll click on the image box. We'll go to shape. And in our properties menu, we will use bounding box. As you can see, the text wraps nicely around the image. You can move this anywhere around the page and the text will continue to wrap around it. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching my Scribus tutorial. We've created a nice simple poster on how to care for your kittens.